What's up, YouTube? Today we are going over Tribes of Midgard Captain America Sentinel build. Now, for this build to work, you're gonna want the Twin Knuckle Starter Kit. Why? Is because all you're gonna be using is a shield. And when you only use a shield, you are not wielding a weapon. And each rune that you have gives you 100% increase of damage. This is an amazing build simply because you get two of them and you will be doing insane amounts of damage when you throw your shield. Just like Captain America. And here's some footage. So, just like this. Boom, you kite enemies, you run away for a couple seconds, and you just kite. Now, in order for this build to work, you're going to need to unlock the Sentinel. If you do not have the Sentinel unlocked already, you can go to Class Challenges. You can go to Challenges, go to Class Challenges, and scroll down, and you claim it here after you have blocked 25 techs in 10 seconds in a world in a Saga mode. The easiest and fastest way for you to do this would be to start a Saga mode, solo play, go to world, and once you join the game, is you're going to want to look for a land of pools. All you need is a couple of wood, and you're going to want to look for, you see this green, you see this light green-ish area is what you're going to be wanting to look for, but after you get a shield, you come down to this person right here, you build a villager shield. This might take you a couple of attempts, it is very well worth it in the end. You come down here, what you want to look for are these rock throwing goblins right here. You see, you got three, you got one, two, three. You need about four, maybe five would help you better. You want to look for one more. If you can find one more, that would be great. Oh, let's see. Come on, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Aha, perfect. So once you have five of them, you come over here. You make sure they're lined up and then you just hold your shield like this every time you hear that clank and roughly about 25 seconds later you might die while trying to do it and you're done and that's how you do it challenge you go down to progress challenges class and you go down and you redeem it once you have redeemed it it should show up in your classes as right here once you have done that, the second thing you want to do, go to shop, go to accessories, look for the twin knuckle rune. I think it is on page two. Yep, right here. Nothing to wield. You're gonna want these. You're gonna want you're gonna want this starter kit as well. Unlock this rune as well. It, it, it costs 10 golden horns. So if you do not have enough golden horns to buy it, uh just play about two or three matches. In one match if you kill all the bosses. You are now on your way to becoming a shield thrower. Very satisfying. Damage of your shield throw scales with your shield and your level. It is a very burst damage build. So you will be doing all your damage up front, kiting enemies. When you hit level four, you wanna hit, they take the shield level through and you will be doing double damage now because you will be throwing two shields at the same time. So you do not have to worry about elemental damage. Elemental damage is not applied to any shield. It is applied to your shield ring. However, it is very minor, but it is not worth getting. Now, here's a little trick is that you can actually do this. You can throw your shield through walls, which can help you kill mobs of enemy a little bit quicker. And one thing you wanna take note is that you cannot lock onto a boss, so you have to shoot in the direction. You have to hold it in the direction. For some reason, your left click do not does not lock onto bosses. Now we're gonna go over runes that will pair nicely, that synergize with the Twin Knuckle Starter Kit. Runes that you would wanna look out for that increase your damage is one of them being Far Fetched. This is increases your damage dealt to distant enemies by 20%. Goes really well because you are using a ranged attack. <clears throat> Another one that is decently good to use is nothing to hide. However, this will not be good in the long run or the late game this will be good for a early game if you do manage to find one pumped up is a really good one because you do not use mana and if you do not use mana you get 25 percent more damage and if you find any more nothing to wield 
it will add an additional damage to your damage. Increased damage done to Ancients, the Ire of Odin is a very fantastic rune. Adds 10% to your overall damage. The best rune that you can find is soul powered comboed with a nothing to wield. The more soul powered runes that you have, the more damage you will do because it will add a base damage, which will then further increase it, which you can get over to almost 8,000 damage if you have two of these. Explosive Final is actually a really good rune too because you will be killing enemies really quickly. And if you do not kill them for the ones that you do not kill right away will take extra damage if you manage to spawn a explosive winter's wake is also a really good one me myers well is a really good so as well as ragnarage soulmate is actually a really good rune as well it is really well because every time you throw your shield you will be getting two souls per hit those are the runes that i personally think that are really well which works really well with the build if you have any comments questions or concerns about the build please let me know down in the comments down below I'll be sure to be checking them and uh, yeah, I'll let you know. And remember, if you like the video, please hit that subscribe button so I can do more extra builds for uh, Tribes of Midgar. And thank you. Have a good day.